People dancing shoulder to shoulder while listening to live music in a stadium. During the pandemic, scenes like these have been rare, to say the least. Wow, it's great. It's really great. Back to life. 500 people were able to attend this event in Tel Aviv, as long as they could prove that they had been vaccinated against COVID by showing a QR code and an ID. It's part of a so-called Green Pass system, which is also accepted by gyms, museums, bars and restaurants, as authorities want to demonstrate that getting COVID shots gives access to gatherings and public events. As of early March, more than half of Israel's population had received at least one dose of the vaccine, a greater share than any other country. But a recent survey found that 25% of Israelis had no plans to take the vaccine. Did you guys get vaccinated? To convince them, volunteers have been walking around and touting the benefits of immunization. And health workers are offering freebies that include free drinks, pizza, and tickets to basketball games for those that get the vaccine. If everybody will take the vaccine, we can open all the stores, we can open all the business, and it's very important for the economy. Israel is going to extremes to reach its goal of vaccinating everyone over 16 by the end of March and reopen its economy as quickly as possible. Today we are spreading awareness for everybody to get vaccines. Ellie Greenfield is a volunteer medic. At this market in Jerusalem, she helped spread the word by encouraging people to get vaccinated at a nearby bar where other volunteers were also offering drinks. The idea here is for them to come to the bar, they'll then receive a drink, a non-alcoholic drink, in return for getting vaccinated. There you go. By early March, the majority of people aged 50 and above had been fully vaccinated, while less than half of the population under 40 had received their first dose. Those who say they are wary of taking the vaccine cite different reasons. According to a survey, 41% of people who hadn't yet been vaccinated said they feared side effects and 30% said they weren't sure if the vaccine was effective. One issue health workers are focused on is vaccine misinformation, stressing to people that vaccines have gone through clinical trials before being authorized by local authorities. People have a lot of fears because they hear a bunch of things from different friends or different news channels that aren't necessarily true. To help with that, we have volunteers who are out and around in the market explaining to people the importance, answering questions, uh, and actually bringing them here. Some campaigns focus on the ultra-Orthodox and Arab communities, where some have been skeptical of the vaccination program. The government has also set up a task force to fight vaccine misinformation, like these employees are doing here in Israel's health ministry control room. And in some cases, it seems to be working. In Cholon, a suburb south of Tel Aviv, volunteers at this pop-up clinic offered goodie bags and free basketball tickets to the first 5,000 people to get vaccinated. We try to do our best to give the people the, the idea to come and take the vaccine. Around 85% of Holon's residents had already been vaccinated at the beginning of March. One reason Israel is pushing its vaccination program so hard is that it's crucial to the country's plan to reopen its economy quickly. The fact that Israel has been so fast in vaccinating its residents also means we will probably be the fastest in reopening our market. Citizens who've been inoculated can register for Israel's Green Pass system, which is meant to help the country reopen safely and allow activities like indoor dining to resume. The Green Passport essentially says if you've been vaccinated twice, you have access to all these places. Some other countries, including Saudi Arabia and the EU, have said they were considering similar systems for people who had gotten their vaccines. But critics have raised questions on whether the strategy could result in a two-speed system with potentially unequal access to some public services and travel. Israel says the system isn't affecting access to essential services. For the first time, we are allowed to have a rock concert, but the restrictions still apply, so only 500 people can attend this show. There are 30,000 seats and 500 people. But green passes are allowing people to take cautious steps towards normalcy. The green pass uh, program is great. It feels like things are starting to open up and getting back to what we were used to a while ago. 